Hey gang, it's Shay. Welcome back to the channel. So today, as you guys can see, I'm in scrubs. Shout out to Cherokee. I will leave it down below in the description box if any of you guys are interested in the scrubs. I have one today. But anywho, we're going to be doing another nursing video. And this is kind of just going to be um, something that is frequently asked. So a lot of people always ask me about my journey through nursing school, my journey to nursing school, and how I decided, um, you know, I tried to line everything up so I could be successful when I reached nursing school and when I got out. So, if any of you guys are interested in any of um, this video, I guess we'll call it a story time. Stay tuned. Um, we'll jump right into it. I'll be giving you guys some um, an overview of what I did, things I probably would not do again, and you guys will learn. Every trial has tribulations has humps in the road mine was not a smooth transition I did not finish in accordance to the time I was supposed to but I'm here I did it and I got those credentials so if you guys are interested stay tuned we'll jump right into the video you will have to excuse me if I'm looking all types of crazy because I had to take the glasses off the ring light was totally distracting um between me wearing the glasses and the glare so that's something we got to work on as far as lighting but anywho, I'm taking you guys through my journey. Basically, we're going to rewind back and back and back and back it up <laughs> to high school. So, um, basically telling you guys about my high school journey. High school was, I don't like to say a piece of cake, but high school was um, something that has not compared at all to my college experience. High school came pretty good for me. So... Starting high school, I was already in honors classes. I was in AP classes my senior year. I will tell you guys straight up and straightforward, you don't need these honors and AP classes to be a prospective student in a nursing program, but they do assist you when it comes to competition. So just be mindful of that. Um, but I'm not saying you got to go all out the wazoo and do honors classes when you get to high school. Do what you can do, but just make sure you're doing your best at what you can do. So I was taking honors classes. I was taking AP classes at the time, which you guys will learn later, later in the story. I didn't even know I was going to be a nursing student. was still kind of in this phase where I did want to go to um, do something in medical, whether it be medical school, physical therapy. Those were like my two top choices and things that I was thinking about doing. So... Um, college readiness while I was in high school came pretty good to me. I was granted the opportunity to actually participate in a program called College Bound. Um, going to this program, it did a lot of college prep, a lot of college readiness. It had me ready for the SATs and etc. Now, one really good thing about this program, and if you guys can find, I know they have like upward bound programs, things like that. I really encourage people to get involved in them. Summers that kids were out on vacation and doing all this other stuff, I was going to this program, um, learning, getting my education up, and just being filled with college readiness. So, my junior year of high school, I took English Composition 1 at my local community college, aced the course already ended up having college credits by the time I graduated high school. I also took, I think, a nutrition class while I was at high school. So that was in conjunction with my community college. And that worked out good. So like I said, graduated college, well, graduated high school, already had 12 college credits. I was, already was in the game. So after I graduated, I was given a proposition Please remember, I also did not know still that I wanted to be a nurse yet. So my parents were like, you can go to a four-year college or you can go to community college, which because of my GPA in high school was completely free and I would get a car. So what y'all think I chose? Yeah, I chose the car. I chose the car and I went to community college. Um, started my community college and was a biomed healthcare major. Still thoughts on becoming a PT or a doctor or something of that sort. So um, as I kind of dwindled in those classes, you know, I was in community college. Does not mean the work is any less rigorous. I will tell you guys it's that straight up. College is college. Um, I had professors there that worked at universities that said we're treating you guys just like university students because this is still college and the college was also in ties with a university so that kind of helped build their report as far as their courses. So I was taking like AMP1, AMP2, um, Microbio, Bio1, Bio2. I remember taking a pathology class along with all my other arts but I was getting those core science classes handed to me like they were, I'm not gonna lie guys, they were a little bit, a little bit of work. So, 
Um, by the time I reached my sophomore year of community college, meaning I was getting ready to graduate, I had finally got like, I always explain it as if there's like a candle wick in my brain and all of a sudden all these like situations were like the lighter and like they like spark the candle wick like that's the best way i can explain it so reasons of discretion i really won't talk about all the situations that led up to it but basically i had been spending a lot of time in the hospital um not for myself but for other people and their family and by doing that i was able to observe the nurse in her natural habitat and once i seen nursing and like nurses like actually doing what they're supposed to do and advocating and providing holistic care and going hard for their patients it was like whoa like I was like oh my gosh have I been living under a rock like I really felt like I was living under a rock like I always wanted to do medicine already had got turned off from PT because I just couldn't deal especially when I had AMP the muscles the bones all that stuff it just didn't interest me the way general health care interests me um, I'm doing a whole video soon on why I'm a nurse and not a doctor, so I'm not going to sneak that in here to you guys today, but be on the lookout because that video is coming soon, but I already come to the conclusion that that was not my path, of course, so looked at nurse and it was like, whoa, like, why did I not realize this is a profession, like, this is dope. So, I applied to various bachelor's programs for nursing. Now, one thing I will tell you guys, most of you are like, alright, you're already at community college. I could have easily transitioned to their ADM program, but I really wanted a bachelor's, especially being as though I already spent two years in college. Also, um, the other thing that had got me in sophomore year was I could have easily continued on in two more years, finished my bachelor's and had a bachelor's in health science. And I'm not saying this to negate anyone that has a bachelor's in health science. If you have one, congrats to you. I know you put in the work. But I did not know what I was going to do with that degree. Like, um, like I did, I did heavy research on my sophomore year of college. And I was like, all right, if I go and get my bachelor's, like, can I start working? Because that's what I wanted to do. I really wanted to start working. I did, had no interest in going to grad school. Ha, look at me now. Had no interest in trying to further my education. I just wanted to get this bachelor's and get this money. Because I didn't have time to be wasted. I was already, I think, like, 20, 21-ish. So I just was really on, like, if this degree is not going to benefit me, and if the work I'm putting in for it is not going to give me a banging behind job, then I do not want to do it. So that's how I stumbled upon nursing. Now, um, I applied to nursing programs, I believe it was October of my sophomore year. Got in, um to various programs throughout the year but the top program that I wanted to get into and I did attend I got my acceptance letter in January and I was so excited because the nursing program was super competitive they only chose like 35 people and I think the total applicant pool for that program that year was at least like 600 or 700 people so to be thought that you were chosen out of that many people is really like it's mind-blowing to me I still don't, don't understand it how did my record exceed millions of other people but I do understand it because at the time like I told y'all my GPA out of high school was the rip like I'm let me brag on myself for two seconds I did the dang thing in high school so my GPA was decent um I did my thing in community college I really didn't have any grade lower than a B and I had very little B's if that like I really tried to work my butt off while I was in community college to make sure when I was ready to go further my education I will be set up so people will tell you guys oh I'm just going to high school everybody gets a diploma no matter what grade you get that is false you need to do your best you need to try to make yourself um marketable to say the least also community college people take community college as a joke I never forget when I decided to go to community college there were so many people in my life friends family that were just looking at me like I was a joke I mean my parents supported me a hundred percent and that's all that mattered the most and of course my closest friends but other people were just like Shay you really about to go to community college not understanding that I kind of got the mechanism of one that I was about to have college for free and two that I wanted a car so I mean there was pros and cons to me making that decision it did back me up a little bit but it also gave me the opportunity to figure out what I wanted to do because if I would have sat there and went to a four-year college no clue on what I wanted to do that would have just been a waste for everybody so I seen it as God kind of 
you know, giving me that, here you go, sis, take this time to figure out what you want to do, and now you know what you want to do, so go do it. <laughs> Epping it up, pretty much. Like I told you guys, I got accepted that January, graduated with my associates in biomedical science in May, and started in my nursing program in the fall of that same year. I believe it was 2013. So this is was my only catch, and this is where I kind of hit a nick in the road. I ended up spending... um what most people would think, I already completed two years, right? So you're thinking I only got two more years. I would have been set on the path to graduate in May of 2015 with my nursing degree. Well, I was also under the same impression until I finished my first complete year of nursing school. And I sat down with my advisor and she said, Shay, this program is a four-year pre-licensure program. You will not finish in two more years. Even though, because I took all these courses in community college, there were semesters when I was in nursing school not taking like, like my whole cohort was taking like A&P, micro, all this stuff. I was just sitting there taking like one class some semesters because I just didn't, I completed all my arts and I already completed those sciences which transferred over. So I was just sitting there like, okay, this is wasted time. So granted that happened i was not allowed to skip ahead i was told i had to stay with my cohort the easiest or quickest way i could finish was in three and a half years and even if i finished in the three and a half years the course that would be required like my um senior capstone course would only be offered in the spring of that year so i would still end up being there for four years anyway so i'm not gonna lie to y'all i was super disappointed when i found this out it almost made me stop and I'm not going to lie to you guys because I was like, I'm not about to be sitting up here looking real dumb. I went to school for two years. I'm about to be in school for four more years. I could have just went to go get a graduate degree. Like, this is really not panning out. But I really had to sit down and it was like a heart to heart with God and understand myself. One, I didn't know what I wanted to do those first two years. So I can't blame nobody. Um, Two, a four year licensure program would not only be... um good because once I finish those four years take my NCLEX get a job it still would make sense because I would have a job right out of college but also those four years would give me time to also um it would make the load of nursing school and I'll say this shit up to people a lot easier being as though I don't have to be trying to cram everything in two years I don't have to cram core classes into two years and there like I told you guys there were some semesters where I only had to take one or two classes because I already took these sciences back when so that made the load a lot um easier not to say it was easier for me in nursing school because it wasn't but it did take the load off because of the situations that panned out it made things a little bit more doable for me i was also able to take that time that would have been dedicated to other classes and i worked during nursing school too so that was another thing now people think oh yeah she got it easy she skipped all these courses i'm gonna tell y'all straight up when i finished my second year of nursing school i was on board with everybody else we were all taking the same classes there were times in the semester we took like i don't forget we had like class two or three classes and then like two or three clinicals, waking up at four o'clock in the morning, like, I, I went through that struggle too, so don't nobody denounce me, but it just took me a little bit longer to get where I was going because I had already taken those classes, but I had also applied to a four-year pre-licensure program, so one thing I will always recommend to people too is when you're thinking about transferring to your BSN, or um, even if you're just like, okay, I'm going to get a nursing degree, make sure you pay attention to all the guidelines, policies, sit down and talk to somebody. Because when I talked to somebody before I got into this program, I talked to someone who was not in the nursing cohort. They were health science staff and they were like, yeah, you can finish this in two years. People do it all the time. I was like, oh yeah, girl, about to graduate in 2015. No no sis you told me the wrong information but regardless i made it here so graduated in may of 2017 once again had no intentions of going back to grad school and y'all see where i'm at now so that was basically my journey through um getting to nursing school and passing nursing school and everything like that so as we come to the end of this video, which I think I already said in the previous clip, um, basically reviewing back on my um, journey, it did take me a little bit longer because you guys also have to remember back in, and I say back in my day like I'm so old, but back when I applied to nursing school, there was not accelerated BSN programs because I would have applied to one of them. 
I did have the choice, like I said, of an ADN, but I just didn't want another associate's degree. If I was going to go back to school, I wanted to have that bachelor's. But now when I look back on it, um, I probably should have just went for my ADN because I could have started working and then I would have gotten assistance in paying for my BSN. It would have took a little bit longer though if I would have did it that way because I think I would have had like a year in between. So all in all, I feel like the decisions that ended up in my life were meant to be that way in some way shape or form now like i told y'all i didn't come out the womb saying i wanted to be a nurse i went through tons of picking and choosing and having this wax little spark in my head that was never lit until like my second year of college so for those of you guys who already have the upper hand on me that know you want to be nurses you guys have the opportunity now to do your research get it done and get it soon done sooner than I did because it did take me a little bit longer because I had that two year kind of sway delay most people ask me do you think your associate's degree was a waste of time I don't think it was it was another thing that made me more marketable, especially when I went to nursing school. They seen I had an associate's degree already. They seen my GPA. I believe that GPA, along with my high school GPA, really helped make me a good candidate for nursing school. And also, like I told you guys, I was working during nursing school, so the jobs that I worked didn't necessarily require that experience, but I think that's also what made me a little bit more marketable because I had an associate's degree. So overall, um, like I said, if you guys know you want to be a nurse now, whether you're in high school, whether you're in your second year of college, wh wherever you are, the biggest advice I can give is to do your research. Best research is done by sitting down with someone who is either living it or sitting down with someone who is very proficient. Like example, like I told y'all before, I sat down with a health science preceptor and health science and nursing although under the same meta paradigm they are not the same like I cannot talk to someone from health science to give me advice on a nursing program because they're not the coordinator they don't know the rigorousness the um steps the courses before the other courses I mean I'm pretty sure they're well versed but overall I would just sit down with a nursing preceptor professor um, colleagues, someone like that, that will be able to give you the 411 on what it takes to finish that program. So, we have reached the end of the video. If you have stayed this long, thank you so much for sitting down and listening to my journey. Like I said, if you are interested in getting ready for nursing school, be sure to learn from my mistakes, as well as learn from what I've accomplished so far. And I will go ahead and end this video right here. If you guys have any, um, input any suggestions anything to say to people who are getting ready for nursing school comment down in the box below if you're getting ready to go to nursing school also comment down in the box below i love to know my subscribers who are getting ready to start this journey so i can make sure i can kind of target videos to help you out um before i end this video i do want to tell you guys about a giveaway that's coming up so stay tuned for the next clip we'll talk about that real quick mm, put the glasses back on for this one okay guys so we are currently at 275 subscribers thank you guys so much for all your support um i could not have gotten as far as i've gotten without you guys as you see i'm trying to bang out more nursing videos for my audience but i'm also still trying to focus a little bit on beauty and lifestyle as well as vlogs in between to take you guys on my journey as i go through nurse practitioner school i don't know why i'm talking so fast i guess i'm just trying to make this video short and sweet for you guys but i know we're only at 275 my goal for the end of 2019 is to get very close to 500 if not reaching 500 completely i want to give my subscribers a heads up on this giveaway so basically when we reach 500 subscribers i will be giving away this happy planner kit this happy planner kit is undated for 12 months meaning honestly if we don't reach this goal by january no matter when you get this you can still date it 12 months out from the time you get it but i do want to still try to mention it because it would be nice to have a new planner for the new year if your old one is ending soon so what you guys can basically do is continue to watch my videos if you're watching and you're not subscribed it does you don't have to pay to subscribe you don't have to go through a long filled out program to subscribe all you gotta do is click that red button if you already got a gmail account you're already set and if you don't it takes two seconds to make one and it's free 
I'm not asking for any compensation or anything like that. So if you're already watching, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you again. You're already in the pot to win this. But make sure you're liking, sharing, staying interactive on my videos. Now, I will have a formal announcement when I reach 500 subscribers on how to enter the giveaway and what the criteria is. But I kind of wanted to put a bug into the ear for all my little subscribers so you guys can have one up on when we reach that spot so again thank you so much for tuning in i will see you guys in the next upload